Hey everyone, this is Two Kitten Funko Review. I'm Thomas. This is Morgan. Uh, I want to say thank you guys so much for coming in, jo enjoying our videos. Please don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button if you do on the bottom around here. I know I'm doing that first this time because sometimes uh, I tend to forget. Uh, tonight, though, we are doing American history. Because America. Because America. <laughs> how you're supposed to do it uh actually no i'm i'm actually a really big fan of history and certain icons and things like that uh, my favorite president is abraham lincoln uh his backstory his history is incredibly uh tragic but inspiring all at the same time uh lost most of his family at a very young age love of his life passed away <clears throat> very young age lost senate races failed to become a lawyer i mean so 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 much stuff um so obviously he was a a, a very inspiring individual who never ever gave up um so uh, so that's who we're going to start off with is abraham lincoln where's my handy dandy tool so if you haven't watched our video on how to open funko pops please do so uh, I don't use a credit card or anything like that. I actually use a Sam's Club plastic card one because uh, with credit cards they have like the numbers and stuff on it and I don't want them accidentally like tearing the box or anything like that. So this is good old Honest Abe, Abraham Lincoln. And this is a Target exclusive, which um, a couple of our, these are Target exclusives. He's heavy. He's really heavy. Oh, that's not that great. Some quality on it. Mm -hmm. So uh, you can tell by the box. We actually were, we went to Target, we went Funko hunting, and we found these guys. He, they didn't even have any of them out yet when we went. We actually got tipped off by uh, a friend of mine who was at a Target somewhere else and was like, hey, it happens to be Funko Day. Um, and they took a picture of the ones that were, they were putting out and um, showed Thomas. So we ran over at Target yeah. to, to get them and the guy was putting them out when we got yeah, there. Yeah, literally put them out. Yeah. We actually got two full sets that day. We got these and the lion king set it's not a full set yet. well almost a full set we're missing zazu missing zazu so that'll be a future video we'll show you that when we have that finished so i really enjoy this uh this abraham lincoln because one he's wearing a stove top hat uh and he's dappered in uh, if you don't know what that means look it up uh, essentially it just means he's all buffed out he's got his french uh, shirt on and the reason why I know it's a French shirt is because that's what they used to wear back in the day with cufflinks because they didn't really have modern shirts like we do now um, as much so they were a lot rarer he's got his semi-esque trench coat on you can see and then of course his is he wearing a tie I think he's wearing it a, a bow tie a bow tie yeah he's wearing his bow tie uh, I I I see it. I hate to say this, but I think this might be when he was going to go see uh, the infamous play that he was uh, shot in the head at. But I, uh, he was shot. Spoiler alert. Uh, yeah. So essentially, obviously, most people know his his tragic ending. Uh, he was shot by John Wilkes Booth in the back of the head uh, at uh, the playhouse. Uh, Maryland Playhouse. I think it was Maryland Playhouse. I can't. I can't remember the playhouse's name. Um, so that is a great uh, figure. You can actually even see uh, if you look at his face. He's got his uh, birthmark, beauty mark, mole on his face. Uh, of course, he's got his Abraham Lincoln beard. Uh, just his beard, no goatee or anything like that. Uh, so that's our eighth president. Eighth president. I think it's eighth president. I can't remember honestly. It's I'm horrible with what, how many presidents there were at what time frame. So I'm sure if he's wrong, one of you guys will tell us. 
Please do. Thank you. So that's Abraham. Honest Abe. Honest Abe. He was a tall man. They say with his stovetop hat, he was like 6'8". Stupid. <laughs> Guy's already like 6'4", and he wears like another 4-inch top hat. I'm struggling. So, while he's struggling with the box, I'll go ahead and do one. Because this is kind of... We both have our own interests, but the American History one was kind of a joint interest. Um, even though Thomas probably knows more of the details and the historical facts of these characters more than I do. Um, so the one I'm opening up is uh, Rosie the Riveter. Um, and again, it's a Target exclusive that we grabbed. Um, I do like on the back of the box it has her famous poster, um, which is really cool. And then um, the number, it does, it's not just the number, <laughs> um, but you can't, it's not going to focus, right? Um, but it actually says around it Westinghouse Electric Service 1942, um, because when the men went to work, Rosie went to, uh, went to war. Sorry. When the men went to war, war Rosie, Rosie went, went to work. work. This um, is during World War II. Essentially, the first time women were allowed to work. Um, so that's what their their slogan was. They introduced her as a. I would say she's more of like an ad icon than an actual like historic reference. Because I don't know if she was based on anybody per se. Um, but of course, like her poster, like is huge like it's a huge ad poster um it's an iconic poster too. Iconic, yeah. it really is um but essentially uh the reason why is because the women <clears throat> back then uh they actually went to work in the factories to help build the things that the men needed for war uh so she was a riveter so riveters obviously uh if you don't know what a riveter is it's essentially a tool that used to block in bolts on certain items uh sort of like a, a modern day drill press now or you know things like that or a impact wrench or you know but they call them riveters because it was a, a rivet uh, that's what the little instrument was this is riveting i know i'm fascinated by my <laughs> i had to make that joke sorry guys pun city up in here uh but so essentially this was the the call for women to go into the factories and help out uh, essentially it really started the process into women's suffrage and things like that because when the men came back from war uh, war world war ii uh you know they're like no you don't need to go back to work and women were like no i've been working for the past four years five years you know because world war ii started for america in uh 1942 and it ended in 1946 obviously it started way before that for europe but for america you know that's when we joined in uh, Pearl Harbor so uh, she is a icon in her own right so not only do I consider her part of American history but she's also an ad icon women's history too America history um, but she <gasps> um, she broke it no I didn't break it uh, that's one good thing about the Funko is they're plastic, so it would be really hard to break them. I'm sure there's a way to break them, but we're not going to. Um, good thing this is our own personal collection. Yeah, so I like that she's holding the rivet. Of course, she's got her arm up, like the iconic poster. Um, of course, got the bandana holding her hair back. And, of course, got those 1940s curls peeking out in the front. Her so, jumpsuit. Her work. Jumpsuit. And there's even... Um, the camera's not going to pick it up, but the cord from the rivet is actually wrapped around her shoulder, um, which is really cool. So it's a cool. It's like a, I think it was more. I still think they called them impact wrenches back then, but either way, that's what she's holding. It's like an impact yeah. wrench. And of course, stand alert. Careful about that. All right. So we are missing one item in this set. It is another hot, to uh, 
Target exclusive. We couldn't find it at the Target that we went to. Um, it is uh, George Washington crossing the Delaware. He's actually in a boat. If you've ever seen the famous photo, uh, it's a little hard to see, but it's George Washington crossing the Delaware. It's on the Funko app, if you guys are not familiar with the Funko app. Please. Um, so I'm going to show off this George Washington, our very first president. Now, technically, there's not like a true set when it comes to these. So if you look at the back of the boxes, most of them have whatever the ad icon is or something specific to that individual but george washington and abraham lincoln actually are technically a set together based on the boxes based on the boxes so don't feel all sorts of crazy if like you pick up one or two and you only want those because that's you know like a set there so this is george washington very first president uh his white, white, white hair. Wig. Oh. Actually, I don't know. This was his natural hair. Oh, I assumed it was a wig because that's what they wore back then. No, he, he was, this was actually his natural hair. He did not wear a wig. Um, he was a fairly older gentleman in his heyday. Um, so you can actually tell it's not a wig because if you turn it around, you can see that it is in a ponytail tied with a black ribbon. Uh, when they wore wigs, they would never tie up the wig uh, because it could destroy the wig and damage the wig because uh, it was a powdered wig. Um, so you wouldn't want to do that. So that's how you can tell. Uh, he's also wearing his uh, dress uniform because he was also a general in the war, in the Civil War, or American Revolution, Civil War, two different wars. Uh, so he is dressed up in his war attire. Now, he actually wore this, from my understanding, pretty regularly, even outside of it, because uh, they didn't really have, like, true uniforms, um, you know, back when they were fighting the Revolutionary War. So, because obviously they weren't, like, a true, true country. Uh, so that's why the red coats, when they came into town, they all wore red coats, so you know that was their uniform. America did not. There was no uniform. So this was technically his his soldier outfit, his soldiering gear. But now, you know, everyone knows him as BDUs and everything else like that. So, anything else? He's got a bigger nose than the other Funko characters. He does. He does have a pretty big nose. Oh. I think he had a big nose in real life. All right. Big honker. Uh, George Washington wasn't one of those characters, one of those historical figures that I really enjoyed. Um, not because he wasn't an interesting individual. It was more like a, you know, we're going to learn, learn so much about you because you're the first president of the United States and everything else like that. And all of these things. The crazy thing was that um, after he served his two terms, uh, they were like, okay, well, you're going to serve again, right? And he's like, nope, I'm done. I, you know, I did eight years. I'm, I'm done. I can't do it anymore. And everyone sort of looked at him like he was crazy. And he set a precedent up until that point in time that where, you know, most presidents would only serve two terms. Obviously, that changed with FDR, who served four terms. Um, so at that point in time, they said, okay, well, we don't want a president to serve indefinitely because every other president there at before served two terms so they uh said no we're only gonna allow you to do two terms eight years unless uh something crazy happens where if <clears throat> the sitting president before you passes away uh in the middle the vice president can take over for that term frame and then continue on for another two terms but it's unprecedented unprecedented Next. Okay. So next. All about the Benjamins, baby. So we got Ben Franklin here. Not a president. 
Um, he is holding the infamous kite with a key. And I love that they put that him in that little scene in history. Um, he was an inventor. He was uh, a writer. He kind of kind of did it all. He was a diplomat. He was also one of the founding fathers. He signed the Declaration of Independence. Without him, we probably wouldn't have the Declaration of Independence because, from my understanding, he wrote most of it. Like without, you know, a lot of the ideas were his. Um, of course, his signatures on it. Yep. Uh, he was a diplomat. He was. Uh, he went to France. You know, he lived in France for a while. You know, so he had all that. Uh, I mean, he was one of the world's smartest men at the time. You know, he was just crazy with everything he did. You know, how we would not be the country we are today without Benjamin Franklin. I mean, that's pretty much just the bottom line. Uh, that's why he's probably one of the only uh, people who wasn't a president who's on money. You know, think about it. Abraham Lincoln, George Washington, Thomas Jefferson. Uh, uh, there's a couple others. I'd have to look it up. Andrew Garfield, I think, is on the dollar. But Benjamin Franklin's on the $100 bill. All the other presidents are on ones, fives, tens, twenties, fifties. And they don't make five hundreds or a thousands anymore. Crazy, right? But of course he's got his glasses. Which he invented. Um, and of course, like I said, he's in that infamous scene that everybody well I mean at least I learned about in school, I'm so maybe everybody else did. Where in lightning storm he's flying a kite with a key on it to learn about he kind of discovers electricity if i'm not mistaken um mm -hmm. but even like the tail of the kite is here now when i opened it this it actually the kite was sitting like that so which of course you can't stand on so just move it over there so you can stand on so you can stand on i think he was actually trying to study conductivity not necessarily uh, electricity but with it he helped pioneer electricity um but i mean he's got the buckles on his shoes the um ruffles in the shirt so i mean the detail that they did on him again is, is again really cool the the ruffles on the shirt is actually a french press shirt uh if you're not familiar with that uh it was essentially what most high class people wore uh, this was a white uh, French shirt essentially that's where the, um, it's a longer shirt and you actually have to uh, take cufflinks to link them in so it locks up into place and you do that all throughout not just uh, everything because they didn't have a way to <clears throat> steam line buttons so you wore a lot of cufflinks and things like that so that that ruffling from the shirt is what that was it was an overlay of the shirt Call it a French, French press shirt. Not to be confused with the French press coffee. No, yeah. I think it was fresh, pre fresh, French press shirt. I'd have to look it up again. It's been a long time. I know it's okay. So yeah, that's Benjamin Franklin, and we have one more. Don't forget, Benjamin Franklin invented the bifocals. Without him, you would not be able to see as well. If you need glasses to see, that is. Even if you don't, when you get older, you need glasses. Okay, so next one. Uh, I need our handy dandy. Oh, yes. Uh, this is Uncle Sam. Uh, you might remember him from such famous posters as We Want You to Serve in the Army. So. I do from the bottom. So this is actually another Target exclusive. So there are three Target exclusives in the set. Four. Um, well, aware. three that we have. Um, Uncle Sam, Rosie the Riveter, and Abraham Lincoln. Mm -hmm. um, we are on the search for the Crossing the Delaware scene, um, which is a Target exclusive. Um, so yeah, here's Uncle Sam. So a lot of people originally thought Uncle Sam was a 
essentially based off of <clears throat> George Washington. Because if you look at the similarities between the two, well, the Funko stylings, it's sort of hard to see, He's right? Side picture. So you can see some similarities overall. Obviously, it's Funkos. It's really hard to tell, but the, the people aspect, uh, if you compared them, uh, but it's not. It's not based off of Uncle Sam. Uh, it was based off of four or five different characters altogether. I can't remember who exactly, but uh, George Washington was not one of them. Uh, so Uncle Sam, the iconic poster, is I want you for the U.S. Army this poster was way 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 early uh doesn't have a specific date i want to say it was back in the 1880s uh is when uh it was invented this poster like before world war ii before world war one um you know the united states was really starting to prompt up its military to try and you know protect itself because uh, you got to think about it <clears throat> 1776 uh, United States goes for independence you know we sign our declaration uh, our first real war was with ourselves the Civil War which was 1800s we didn't really go outside of the United States for wars until about 1880s uh, 1886 I think it was around that time frame um, you know we primarily stayed within the United States you know uh, the French Indian War uh, was in Americas you know the Mexico War was in Americas we didn't go across seas so when they really started ramping up to go across the ocean is when these posters really started to hit and you saw a lot more of them uh, during World War One World War two so it's a very iconic iconic poster uh, so anytime you see Uncle Sam, most people think of that iconic poster. Uh, what's cool about this figure is that you can see <coughs> from the poster, because that's pretty much what the poster is, right? He's wearing his American top hat. He's wearing his <coughs> red bow tie, huge stylings. He's got his goatee. He's got the blue shirt. I mean excuse me everything about him screams america red white and blue star spangled banner i mean it was very very patriotic this figure so stars and stripes stars and stripes star spangled banner so, so um thomas has to get one of the kittens so i mean the detail um is really cool in this um and of course you've got the curly hair and all that so, I mean, it's again, I guess an ad icon in a way, kind of like Rosie, but part of our history, which that's one thing I think is pretty cool about the series. And no, that's not a straight animal that is our cat on Thomas's shoulder. It's my parrot. <laughs> so that is the American history set that we have so far. Again, as we mentioned, we are missing the crossing the Delaware scene. Um, if we get one, we will definitely do an unboxing and show that one to you guys. Um, if any of you out there know how to get one, definitely send us a message. Um, probably the Instagram is probably the best way. Um, that's how most people have been messaging us so far. Um, which, speaking of Instagram, don't forget to like our Instagram. Um, as well as subscribe here to our YouTube for more videos. Um, we are doing the Lion King giveaway once we hit 250 viewers on or subscribers on YouTube, 500 on Instagram. I always forget that number, so I have to look for him for that one. Um, we have two Lion King boxes, so there is going to be a winner for YouTube and a winner for Instagram. Um, once we hit those numbers with each of them, that's when we'll give it away. We won't wait for both of them to be that number. Um, so please like us on Instagram. Please subscribe to us on here on YouTube. And stay tuned for more videos from us. Thank you so much. And also remember, uh, 
these figures, the American history figures, aren't necessarily in a set together, but they are in a set together. That makes okay. sense. A series. A series, yeah, a series. So. Yeah. so thank you so much. Have a wonderful evening. Uh, tell us who your favorite historic figure is. It doesn't have to necessarily be the Funko Pops, just whoever your favorite historic figure is. Or one that you would like to see turn into a Funko Pop. That'd be cool. Because this is a new series, so we, hopefully Funko will be doing more. Yeah. So right. have a good one. Bye. See you next time.